Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, football fans. Uh -huh. This is the Premier League. Today, we are diving into an incredible seven-goal thriller between West Ham and Arsenal. Arsenal came out on top with a commanding 5-2 victory, but West Ham didn't go down without a fight. From Gabriel's opening strike to Saka's late penalty, let's break down the key moments, statistics, and what the result means for both sides. Arsenal wasted no time asserting their dominance. Gabriel opened the scoring with a towering header in the 10th minute capitalizing on some loose West Ham defending. It set the tone for the first half. Then came Leandro Trossard finishing off a silic arsenal move with a clinical strike. Moments later, Martin Odegaard made it 3-0 from the spot after a clear foul in the box. Arsenal were in cruise, cruise control. And just when you thought it couldn't get worse for West Ham, Kai Havers added a fourth with a composed finish, silencing the London Stadium. But give a credit to West Ham. They didn't roll over. Elon Van, Van Bissaka gave the Hammers a glimmer of hope with a powerful strike just two minutes later. The fans were finally on their feet. And then Emerson made it to a brilliant move down the left and uh, hand side. So him slowed the ball past Arsenal's goalkeeper in the blink of an eye. West Ham were back in the game at 4-2. Just before the break, Arsenal had the perfect response. <laughs> Bukayo Saka converted a penalty deep into added time after a controversial handball decision that made a 5-2 and effectively ended West Ham's hopes of a full comeback. The second half was much calmer with Arsenal controlling position and seeing the game out professionally. West Ham had a couple of chances but couldn't find the net again. Now let's talk numbers. Arsenal dominated possession with 61% and registered 16 shots, seven of which were on target, compared to West Ham's 12 shots and just five on target. The Gunners were simply more clinical in the final third. Arsenal's superior passing accuracy and control in the midfield played a huge role. Odegaard, Havers, and Rice were pulling the strings while West Ham struggled to maintain consistent position. West Ham's frustration showed uh, picking up four yellow cards compared to Arsenal's one. They will need to work on composure moving forward. Let's re rate the players for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard was the standout not just for his goal but his overall control of the game. He gets a solid 9 out of 10. Leandro Trossard and Bukayo Saka also shone earning 8.5 out of 10 each. And how about Declan Rice returning to his old stomping grounds? He put in a commanding midfield performance and deserves an 8. For West Ham, Juan Bissaka and Emerson were the bright uh, spots, both earning 7.5s for their contributions. But overall, the team will need to regroup after this heavy loss. One Arsenal one uh, fan said Arsenal we are just too good today. They are genuine title contenders. And another said we showed the fight, but those defensive mistakes in the first half killed us. Moyes needs to tighten things up. Arsenal fans are understandably buzzing while West Ham supporters are left to reflect on what might have been.
For Arsenal, this win keeps their title hopes alive while West Ham need to bounce back quickly to avoid slipping further down the table. All in all, it was a thrilling match that showcased Arsenal's attacking power and West Ham's resiliency. Arsenal continue to prove why they are among the Premier League elite, while West Ham will need to show up their defence if they are up to, st to stay in competitive. Looking ahead, Arsenal faces another tough test as they take on Manchester um, next week. For West Ham, it is all about regaining momentum against Brighton. What are your predictions? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more Premier League action. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time on Premier League. Until then, keep cheering, keep debating and keep uh, all loving the beautiful game.